Well, looking at the situation here, I've got the water in it. It took a while to fill it. I don't know how big this, excuse me, tank is, but I can tell you one thing. She took a lot of water. So, I don't know. I can see the dial, but anyway, she's got about, she's got 25 pounds on her. I've uh, got a couple little leaks here, nothing major. Tightening that right there is not a big deal. Put the pipe dope to it, I'll just give her a little snug. But I'll have to take this all off, and I'll have to take this all off and snug it and work my way back up again. But, uh, yeah, the uh, pressure release valve was leaking a little bit. I snugged that up. Now, I, I checked in here, and this is what I was mainly worried about. You know, is, is the boiler part okay? But it seems to be okay. Now, this is leaking over here, but... That's a gasket that goes around there, and as it warms up, it may stop leaking. I might have to, I should have probably took it off and took a look at it. I just wanted to fill it up and see what I had first. But uh, yeah, all in all, like I say, it's got 25 pounds on her. Uh, all my work here, I don't seem to have one leak all the way through her. Now it's leaking a little bit on the bottom of that pump. I snugged up some, and but again, that's a rubber gasket. And as the heat gets to it, it'll probably seal a little better. And a lot of that water that's on the floor there... Uh, well, when you're filling one of these up, you have to keep on, um, letting the air out. So, I usually use the, uh, pressure release valve to do that. And then, while well, bang, water came out, poured all over the place. So, that's why everything's wet down here. But, it's leaking here, too, so. But, all in all... Uh, I'd say she's, she's pretty well good to go. I might, uh, just with water, I might start it up tomorrow and just let her heat up and see if she'll seat before I, uh, I should probably take that plate off. I guess maybe take that plate off man uh, who knows I might have to put put a whole new gasket in that might just have to be snug but I had an old boiler or an, yeah no well the old boiler in the house and same thing happened it just had to snug all the nuts but it was when it was warm it's different when it's warm then when it's cold, things can trap when they're cold. So, all in all, I guess I'm pretty happy with it. It's not leaking from the main boiler part. I wasn't quite sure about all these holes here. I didn't know if any of these were going to leak, but nothing, uh, nothing major. I almost believe you put a little bit of heat to her and she's going to seal right up anyway. It's cold now. You put some heat to her, everything expands. Yeah, if everything was, like this part here, if it was tightened when it was warm, well, when it gets cold, it's going to contract and so on and so forth. But anyhow, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's, uh, for the amount it's leaking. I think I'm going to start it up because it's just water, so I think I'm going to shove her back in there tomorrow and start her up. Well, maybe I'll hook it up to this thing here, make sure everything's not, everything's fine there, no leaks there. And, uh, so I'll, I'll know I can have the system running. Then we'll go from there. But all in all, as far as I'm concerned, pretty good night. She's together anyway. And no major leaks. Ciao.